Well, obesity, what is it? From the medical point of view, we define obesity with the body mass index. This is the BMI, and it's the ratio between weight in kilograms and height in square meters. Normally it's about 23, 24, depending on age. But more important is the distribution of fat. So nowadays we think that the abdominal fat can excrete malign hormones, which have a quite negative effect on health and lead to the metabolic syndrome. There are medical reasons uh, like diseases, such as hypothyroidism, for example, or the intake of drugs uh, like cortisone. At the end, it's a simple balance sheet. The more you eat, the more you have to practice sporty activity. Furthermore, there is genetics. There are people which have a lake of leptin, which makes you feel full. The main health risks are cardiovascular disease, like heart attack, and cerebrovascular disease, like stroke. But diabetes mellitus type 2 and some kind of cancers are connected to obesity also. Consequently, obese people lose many years, and their last years had a bad quality of life. Now we have a huge impact for the insurance companies. So in the US, we see the largest numbers of obese people followed by the UK and Mexico. Generally speaking, we can say 50% of men over 50 years are overweight or obese. But the most worrying fact is that children are becoming more and more obese. For example, in the US, in the 70s, we have about 15% of obese children in 2000, we have 30%, and in several years, we will see 50% of obesity in children. We expect in the next years, worldwide, more than 70 million children which are obese. This can have a huge impact on insurance companies, which do not anticipate and plan prices changes in the future. Thank you.